Hi guys, it's Huff. I'm back again and this is my empties video. Um, I'm, I was doing these monthly and then I didn't do one for three months and now it's been probably two months. Mainly because I didn't really have a lot and then I did a bit of a decluttery type thing. So that added a few things to it. So I have finally got around to doing this video. <laughs> anyway. We have three packets of the Lacura makeup rounds. Um, apparently they have aloe vera, but I don't notice any difference. Um, I buy these ones because they're relatively good and they are cheaper than my preferred brand, which is actually the Swisper ones. I mainly use these to take off nail polish and to use like micellar water. So there are like three of them for the last couple of months. Um, I also have a packet of the Swisper Cucumber Wipes. These are my preferred wipes, mainly because they have the, um, the proper sealy thing so they don't dry out. Um, I'm currently using a Lacura brand one, which I'm, they're quite damp, but I'm not sure I like them at this point in time. I prefer these ones. I will probably buy them again. Um, I did something I don't normally do and I did a face mask sitting there one night. Um, this was from a Mimi box ages and ages ago. Uh, this is the organic mask sheet in broccoli. I don't recall it doing anything amazing. It just was gooey on my face for 20 minutes. Um, yeah. It was okay. It wasn't terrible. The mask fit relatively well. You can still, like, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but there's still goo in the bottom of this. Um, it didn't smell too bad. It certainly didn't make me think I was sticking broccoli on my face. Um, but I, I probably wouldn't go out of my way to buy one. Um, then there were these Coco Fixation 100% Bamboo Face Wipes. These came in a bell box. Or in a last, uh, in a purple, red purple box or something. Um, they were okay. They were not great. They were not terrible, but they weren't great. They weren't particularly um, damp or anything. Um, I mainly ended up using them to take swatches off the back of my hand or to clean up my hands when I was doing my makeup. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't bother buying them. Um, the next one is just the packets from these five samples of Avon Femme. I have a little bit of it left in an atomizer, but I'm, I'm putting this in this particular um, empties. Brain not working. Um, this is actually not a bad fragrance. It's quite citrusy, which is, is something that I really kind of like. Um, it's came out of a bell box or something. There's like five of them. Um, yeah, fragrance is not generally my thing, but I'm trying to use up what I've got. Next, we have the Grace Cole Boutique Grapefruit Lime and Mint Cleansing Hand Wash, which was in my bathroom, my partner and I's bathroom. This was green to start out with. Um, it smells really great. I actually really like this. I went, I liked it so much. I went and bought another one. Left it sitting on the windowsill. It's now clear. It still smells great. It still works fine. It's just it's gone clear, and this was green to start off with. So I thought that was kind of weird. Um, but I do really, really like this particular. I, everything I've had from Grace Cole, I've actually really, really liked. It. So um, yeah, and you can get it from Chemist Warehouse if you're interested. Then I have a bath wash. This is the Woolworths Select, Woolworths Select Relaxing Shower Gel, which had lavender, ylang ylang, and patchouli. It was okay. It wasn't great. Um, as with most bath washes, I use them like I use like one container of them, and then I buy something completely different, and I never go back and buy them again. I wouldn't buy this one again. It wasn't anything amazing. Then we have the Inoxa Renew Triple Action Gel Wash. Uh, I bought this because I quite liked the exfoliator version of this. I don't like the gel wash as much. 
I, I, I wouldn't buy this one again. And, you know, it sounds like a cheap part from anything else. But, yeah, um, I tried it. I did not particularly like it. Uh, then we have two items that were in, that are, were in current projects. Um, the Vinyl Max Lip Gloss from Rimmel in Hypnotic. This makes my lips feel kind of weird and um, basically I just don't like it. So I'm getting rid of it. And the other one is the High Lift Kilplex Bond Sustainer number no. 3. This is part of, this is like Olaplex, but it's a different brand. It's the same thing as Olaplex, effectively. And this is the home care part of the system. Um, it, it's, it's quite nice. It's pretty moisturising. But my hair can, like, appear moisturised and then 10 minutes later not be moisturised. Um, and the rest of the stuff in here is de-stashing stuff. Stuff that I'm getting rid of. One of them is this L'Oreal Lip Tensity... Um, it's like a lip gloss duo type thing. It's like you squeeze it out. This has been sitting in my bag for ages and had been open for ages and I'm just, um, I, I don't want to mess around with it. It's just, yeah. Um, this was in the colour 380 Fashion Esther. I obviously didn't use it very much. I don't think I particularly liked it. So that one is going out. And the other one is this eyeliner from LA Colors, which has just gone weird as anything. Um, like the glitter is kind of stuck on the sides. And yeah. And all the rest are foundations. I was doing kind of like my inventory type thing and I thought I would go through all of my foundations and you know I tested them all on my neck to see what I thought and whether I thought they were going to work for me, whether the colour was right, whether I liked what, how they felt on my skin, whether they oxidised on my skin and I found out that the majority of them oxidise really quickly on my skin which is bloody annoying or the colour was just not right in the first place like it was too orange to start with never mind it oxidizing um some of these i've used a bit of some of them i haven't used very much of at all um a lot of them i would have bought them on sale anyway because i'm a bit of a cheapskate when it comes to stuff like that um so the first one is this inoxa cream to powder foundation in linen it doesn't take a genius to work out that it's going to be too orange on me and I don't know why I put it in this colour, probably because I couldn't see it properly in the store or something, but it is quite clearly very yellow and that ain't going to work. Um, I have another Anoxa one. This is the Line Defying Foundation. Um, this is in linen as well. So clearly, it has the same kind of problem where it is just a bit too yellow. It actually oxidizes quite quickly on my skin, um, which might be because it's a bit older. I have found that the older a foundation gets, the more it will oxidize. Um, so if you're pink toned and you're finding your foundations are going orange too quickly, could be that they're just too old and you just need to get rid of them. So that one is going... I have used, you know, a bit of it, but... No point keeping a foundation I'm clearly not going to use. Um, the next one is this Revlon Colorstay in 110 Ivory. It should be okay, but it actually, not only does it oxidize, it sinks into my pores and my lines that I have, and it basically does not look very attractive at all. Um, I've realised that I really don't like this type of foundation. I actually don't like a heavy foundation. I much prefer basically a BB cream or something like that. So uh, that's another one that's going. And another one from Revlon is this super duper old age defying. Um, they, they don't even sell this anymore. Like they sell the age defying line, but it doesn't look anything like this now. Um, so this one is super duper old and it's in fair. Um, which probably isn't even light enough anyway. Uh, 
again oxidizes weirdly on my skin and then we have one from bourgeois this is the 10 hour sleep effect this one's in 72 rose clear so it should have had a fairly pink undertone and it doesn't <laughs> it's too dark and it is too yellow and does not look good on my skin um, it could just be that um, it's too old and then we get the last one which is the weirdest one of the lot quite frankly because you know I've been complaining about foundations that are too orange or too yellow. This is the Rimmel Match Perfection in 071 Porcelain, which should be the perfect colour for me. This is actually too pink. Like, I could almost wear this as blush. It is that pink on my skin. It is the weirdest thing ever. I tried this on my neck and I thought you know it can't possibly be too pink there's, there's no such thing as too pink well I'm afraid yes yes there is that is what color it is <laughs> and as it sits on my skin it just gets pinker and pinker and I, I was like sitting there just like completely stunned like how can it be too pink how how is that even possible um and yet I don't know how I can see it but it when it was on my neck it was just like I almost looked like I had a slight like a burn on that spot where I put it because it is just weirdly pink and that <laughs> it's the first time I've ever <laughs> had a foundation with a pink undertone that is actually too pink for my skin. I mean, maybe I'm bordering towards a neutral skin tone, but this just is, it, it's, it's just weird, like, I don't, I don't really don't know if you can tell, partly because the camera doesn't want to focus, but it is like, super pink. It's like, literally like a really light blush on my skin tone. I don't know what's going on with that. So yeah, um, I'm not going to be wearing this because it's too pink, which is something I never thought I would actually ever have to say. So those are my empties for pretty much October and November. Um, so at the end of the last update I did, or last empties I did, um, at the end of September, I had uh, used or destashed $766.55 worth of stuff and after this particular one which was a slightly big one we are at $941.75 for the year so I should be able to make it to a thousand by the end of the year which will be good to know that I've used up that sort of product take into account that I did not necessarily spend that much money on the product and I may well have got it on sale. I often use, because I can't remember how much I paid, I often use the replacement value of said item and stuff that comes in my um, sample boxes. I divide the number of samples by the cost of the box, which makes them basically three bucks each. So even if they are not worth that much, that's how much they end up going down in on my listings, just because it makes it easier than trying to work it out every single time. So that is basically how I work it out. So that is my empties for the end of November. Um, I will attempt to come back at the end of December or the start of January with another empties and do a update for the year, um, you know, how many products I used up or discarded or whatever and my final tally for the year so if you want to be around to see that then click the subscribe button down below leave me a thumbs up if you like empties type videos and leave me a comment down below i try to respond to all comments and i'll see you in my next video see ya